everyone, I am Joel Morales here for Normal Boots News, and I would like to personally apologize for last time. Kelly Speckles went a little crazy, so I took the necessary precautions and placed him in Antarctica. He won't be coming back for a while, especially with him being naked. <laughs> anyway, I offered him rations of water, but he decided to go with the alcohol instead. But that's neither here nor there. Our top story for the night is the release of Beyond Good and Evil HD. The game stars Jade, an adventurous photographer who is also a complete ripoff of Frank West. What's that? This is a release of a game that came out before Dead Rising? Well, did she, you know, cover wars? The game takes place during a war. Hmm. Well, did it come out before Pokemon Snap? No? <laughs> I rest my case. And now, for a new segment here on Normal Boots News, Ryan's Video Game Corner. Take it away, Ryan. Thanks, Jolly Moly Rock and Rolly. Well, here we are at the gaming place. Ryan's Gaming Place, that's what it's called, right? I think so, I'm not gonna look behind me. Anyways, today we have a review, and that's for the new game, Fighting Masters, on the Sega Entertainment Nomad system. And you know what? It's a pretty cool game, so let's bite into this like a hot pizza that burns your mouth. One thing awesome about this special fighting game from the Sega years is that it always reminds me of Lobster. But I'm deathly allergic to lobster. I break out in hives and my throat clogs up. I'm also deathly allergic to robots because they're metal and they break my teeth once. All right, now let me show you Ryan's super special secret place where I keep all the codes. This code goes to Fighting Masters, the game that I just reviewed a five minute ago. And that is, at the very beginning of the game, it says to press start. Well, if you're a loser, you'll just press start anyways. But if you're a winner like me and some other guys like my mom, then you can press any button you want. But don't press the off button because that immediately stops the game. Well, all in all, this game is okay. I give it a hamburger on a Tuesday. Back to you, Joel. Thank you, Ryan. That was enlightening. And now, some motion gaming news for you. The game Child of Eden is going to be released June 14th. The successor of Rez looks to be one of the most entertaining and prettiest games coming out for motion gaming peripherals. The only thing I can think of to make it better is to pop some X, grab a midget, and have a party. But don't hire Jerry. He's one of the more sensitive ones. I think it's the whole short thing. Anyway, on to the viewer's voice. Ivanator2294 had this to say. Favorite dragon? Perhaps the Dragonov in Battlefield 2. What? Who, who put this in here? What are you, an idiot? A Dragonov is a firearm, not a mythological reptile. <laughs> I mean, where do you live? Dummyville population you? <laughs> well, perhaps you're riding a moron coaster with a couple of stupid loops. <laughs> or uh, maybe you fell from the uh, idiot tree hitting every unintelligent branch on the way down, slapping you in the face. <laughs> or uh, perhaps you're eating a Neanderthal burger with some stupid fries. Or <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I get the joke. Okay, that that was my bad. And uh, well, for next week's viewers' voice question, well, how about you decide? What should next week's viewers' voice question be? Well, that's all the time we have here today. My name's Joel Morales here for Normal Boots News, and here's me looking out for you.